everyone. I am here for QA at Home 2.4 starting in just a few minutes. I have changed a few things since the mains and goals video. First, my goal for 7x7 now is a sub 13 single instead of sub 15. My goal for blind isn't just any success, like a sub 8 success. And I might even do two solves by time. And I'm also doing multi blind, so I'm attempting two cubes for that. So it should be pretty interesting. Anyway, the first event is 3x3, three three, so that will be starting. All right, 3x3 three three is starting. I will begin. I'll be showing you my full solves. Another sub 20 solve. Also, sorry about the noise, I have a full house. Alright, so I have a 1920 and a 1997. Maybe I could get a sub 20 average. I got my very first sub 20 average today. It was almost pure sub 20, I did like a 28.12, but otherwise it was pure sub 20. Very happy. Whenever I get an end, for, end perm, I just normally quit the soft. So I could get a sub 20 average with a really good solve here.
with that. I don't think I got a sub 20 average, but I did get probably 20 average. And my average, 20.52. Very nice PR average. Close to PB actually, <laughs> it's really good. All right, next is three by three blindfolded. This is an event I'm pretty nervous about, but I might be able to do pretty well. All right, blind is starting now. I might have time for one or two, probably just like one. All right, this is pretty sad. I DNF'd in blind. I'm not gonna have time for another solve, but it's okay. Um, I don't know, it's fine, actually. I might get another time. And so if you could tell, in that blind solve, I paused for a very long time. I forgot what the next targets were, and I remembered them, but the previous target was off slightly, so that's why DNF, but I got pretty close. Maybe next time, though. All right, so next is multi-blind. I will be using two cubes, uh, because I'm not going to do any more. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So, sadly, I'm not going to be able to compete in multi-blind. Good thing is it's the event I care the least about. I don't know, pretty sad, but it's okay. I am back for 2x2, two two, so I'm pretty sad that I wasn't able to compete in multi-blind. I think that was, like, before the rest of the comp, but that's fine. It's the event that I care the least about, except maybe 7x7. Seven seven. Anyway, next up is 2x2. Two two. I'm pretty excited about this one. That would have been sub 5 if I didn't get a Y from at the end. Still pretty happy.
All right, so I've been counting 639, which is okay. I don't know what'll happen though. If I get a really nice solve for these last two, I might get this sub five single. Left. My other uh, times I did two by two comp, I had a really good stuff for my last one, so four and three. Whoa. Yep. That's really good. So close. I didn't quite get it, but that was pretty close. What my average is probably gonna be a low six, or maybe it might even be a high five average. My first ever high five average. So place your guesses on my channel discussion page if you want to. Here we go. Six oh nine. All right, that was very very close to a high five average, but pretty good, pretty happy. Except for the fact they didn't get the sub five, but other than that, yeah, the two bucks is really good. Next event, I believe is seven by seven, or it's one-handed, one of those two. All right, so the next event is one-handed. <laughs> All right, one-handed is starting. I'm going to begin.
this point, I'm thinking maybe even a sub 50 average. So I got the 40 in there, and I'm counting 46 and 47. So that should be pretty good for my average. Alright, so at this point, I'm pretty sure I got like a 44 average, but I still have one more solve. I can hopefully get a better one. So that one, it was really lucky. I had the first step of the complete beginner's method done. I didn't have cross finish, but I had the daisy already done, so it was really, really easy to complain the whole cross. F12 was pretty good. I think I had two made pairs. OLL was one of the six made P shapes. And PLL was an apron, so it was really good. That makes my average, I'm guessing like a low 40 something. 42.84, yeah, that is a really good average. So I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, next step is 7 by 7. Alright, so now 7 by 7 is starting. I'm not going to be using my step mat. Instead, I'm going to be using a CS timer. So let's get right into it.
All right, so that was an 11, 12, 0.14. Pretty happy. It's definitely sub 12. I had a T O L L and a Y perm. Just pretty lucky last layer. Otherwise, it was really, really nice. I'm gonna have to DNS the others. Pretty happy with that one solve. That is just about the last event. There is Killaminx. Anyway, that is just about it for me. I only have Killaminx. Alright, I am now starting Killaminx. That's my first Killaminx solve.
this average isn't looking too great, but I might be able to get a pretty decent average. If this last solve is good, I could get a very nice average. All right, let's try and guess what my killing average is. I'm guessing something between a minute and a minute 10, maybe like a minute seven. 105.3, it's pretty nice. With the best all 55, pretty happy with that. Anyway, that was the last minute of the day.